What's up, YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer, and this is my top five most unique flyers under fifty dollars. So, um, again, this is my top five unique flyers, and they have to be under fifty dollars, and they're multi rotors as well, and they don't necessarily have to be the best of flyers, uh, but some of them, however, do fly very well. But uh, keep in mind, uh, that's not the uh, point of this whole thing is uh, unique flyers, actually, uh, for under $50. So here we go with number five. Now, this is, this is the extreme mini, step, mini stealth drone, but this is actually a rebrand of the Sima X4. So I'm going to say Sima X4. I don't have a Sima X4. I have this upgraded version <laughs> which by Extreme. It's rebranded. But basically, uh, this is a Sima X4, and uh, it's very unique in its build. As you can see, uh, it's geared. Uh, the motors are geared. It has three bladed props and it flies really well, really quiet. This thing is actually a nice flyer. Uh, it is Devo compatible. It's even a more better flyer than, than uh, usual with uh, a Devo when you couple it with a Devo. But out of box, everything stock, this thing still is a great flyer. Um, it has uh, nice LEDs on it. Um, and it has a built-in prop guard and all. So uh, I... I actually recommend this for beginners um, I think uh, this is the perfect beginner uh, quad because you can fly this thing indoors and not worry about uh, banging the props up or anything like that because of the uh, protection you're not going to hit the props with this even if you hit the ceiling the top canopy the top of the canopy is going to hit the ceiling and not the uh, props uh, so I never damaged any props to this thing I still have all of the four uh, ones that came pre-installed they're all intact and I still have the four uh, the four spares that they get give you so coming in number five that's the Sima X4 slash extreme stealth mini drone well yeah that's coming in number five this is number four here this is actually the Huawei Skyhawk mini and this thing is a awesome, unique looking aircraft. However, it, the yaw rate on this thing was very slow. I didn't like the yaw rate on it, but it, however, it was uh, very stable. Uh, it, it was a nice indoor flyer. If you can get past the slow yaw rate, uh, I actually modded mine. This one actually has a faster yaw rate, but it's a little more, less un, a little less uh, stable as it was uh, stock. It seems because uh, this thing. It wasn't meant to fly fast, I think, <laughs> because when if I fly this thing really fast, it gets a little shaky on the turns. It's hard to make the turns. You have to slow down before you make a quick turn with this. And I have been able to uh, get it to do funnels in its uh, modded form. But this thing is a great, uh, unique looking aircraft. It's a it's in the Y4 configuration. So uh, this is actually a quad. Uh, people get this thing mixed up. They think it's a uh, it's a tri um, <laughs> rotor or whatnot, but uh, it actually has four motors on it. There's two in the back and two up front, one on top and one on bottom. So coming in at number four, that's that the Huawei Skyhawk Mini. Coming in at number three, the JXD UFO drone. Now this thing, you might uh, see some similarity to uh, the Extreme Stealth Mini Drone, but that's not the reason this thing made it. This thing made it because of its lights. <laughs> the, well, the design is pretty unique and cool as well, but the lights, let me see if I can get something to turn it on. It's kind of hard to get, it, get down into this uh, switch here to turn it on because of the lights. Uh, this thing has very unique, uh, a very unique form factor. Um, the LEDs are very unique in that they come all the way around the rings there. The whole rings glow. It makes this thing look very awesome at night. 
it's actually flickering because it's not binded to the transmitter. Once you bind to the transmitter, uh, this thing is uh, solidly lit. Green in the front, blue in the back, and it looks awesome. <laughs> but uh, not much of a uh, great flyer outdoors. It has problems with wind because of its uh, weight. This thing is pretty heavy. Uh, I weighed it and it weighed in at 60 grams. And this thing is really heavy uh, for a micro. And it does have, uh, it looks like 8.5 millimeter motors. But the three bladed props seem like they neutralize that <laughs> and, and make this thing still not much of a flyer. But it's an awesome looker though. So that's number three. The UFO Stealth Drone by JXD. Coming in at number two is this guy. Now this is a this is the top race Scorpion Y6. This is actually a hexacopter. It has three motors on top and three on the bottom. People uh, usually mistake this for a tricopter as well, um, but it's not. It's a hex. It's a Y6 formation hex. Uh, this thing flies really well. It's really fast. This one in particular, I actually have two of them. Here's my other one. I have it here now. Uh, so you guys can see what it looked like. This one actually is discontinued though. This is the Atop YD713 Capricorn. And uh, it's actually um, hard to find. You can't find this one. But this one is available at Top Race. And this one, I think has a few advantages over this one here. They're actually on the same exact protocol, so they're both on a Skywalker protocol. But as you can see, if I open, if I take this off here, you can see that this one, uh, if you wanna replace some motors, some soldering has to be done on this one. Let me get that to focus. So soldering has to be done on this one, whereas this one here, it's all, plug and play so that's great you want that's what you want to see uh, from and a multi rotor is uh, plug and play motors because that makes it very easy to swap out motors you just plug it in and set it up and you're ready to go and also there's uh, spots for LEDs in here as well even on the old one there's a spot here for LEDs this one is uh, covered up a little but right here if you can see that it says LED that's the positive and negative there so you can hook LEDs up on this um, I probably will in a future chop shop but coming in in at number two is this uh, scorpion this thing is pretty awesome it's a nice flyer a nice yaw rate a, an even better yaw rate when you fly with the Devo it does flips actually it looks like it's heavy it's not as heavy as this thing but it looks like it's heavy actually um, but it does do flips and it does flips well. Uh, it's sometimes it's a little shaky on recovery uh, on the flips if you're not at a new battery. If you're not on a fresh battery, sometimes it can be shaky on the recovery. But it does flip well. And uh, this thing is a strong fly flyer. Very fast. Uh, very neat flyer. I really like it. Uh, oh, uh, some other differences uh, with these that I didn't point out uh, is the connector, the batteries. This one takes this type of connector here, and the one from Top Race takes a more standard connector here, so you can get a lot of different uh, battery sizes and uh, try to see if it flies, uh, you know, experience, experiment with the different uh, flight uh, characteristics with uh, different weights of different batteries so uh, yeah coming in at number two is the Scorpion and coming in at number one my all-time favorite unique flyer is this thing now this is the JXD flying car uh, so JXD has two in here, <laughs> the JXD UFO drone, but the flying car is awesome. This thing um, is on a Skywalker protocol. Uh, it can drive around and it can fly. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. The car looks really nice. It comes in red and blue. 
It has nice LEDs on it. Uh, it has white uh, f headlights in the front and red headlights in the back. You can see there. You can see nice bright headlights and brake lights as well. And uh, this thing is a nice flyer. It has a nice yaw rate on it. You can do nice tight funnels with it. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's it is geared. The motors are geared, so uh, it has a, enough lift to get this thing flying nimbly. Uh, it is heavy actually, so when you when you fly hard with it, uh, full forward pitch, you can build up a lot of momentum. So when you're turning, it sometimes it's uh, a little hard to turn. It's not hard, but it kind of uh, keeps moving in the same direction, even actually after you've uh, switched directions. So it doesn't turn on a dime, but it does get going in the other direction pretty fast if you're not flying really fast with it. Um, what else? Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty nice. I really like it. Uh, it does flips, does nice flips, forward and back flips. Um, just an awesome flyer. I think the only flaw that this thing has, this thing would be perfect if it was a little larger because the wheels are kind of small for outdoors. The wheels are are actually awesome for uh, driving it around in the gym or somewhere uh, where there's a smooth uh, surface. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this on a smooth surface because uh, it can go pretty fast. It's, the speed is proportional when you're in driving mode with this. Um, However, however, the turns are just uh, all or nothing when you're uh, making turns with it. The uh, steering is not proportional. Uh, it does drive outside on uh, concrete, but it's a little bumpy because the wheels are a little small uh, for that. So I've been waiting a long time for JXD or somebody else to do uh, this thing again, a little larger. Um, but no luck. But this thing is still awesome to me. One of the best flyers. Uh, of the unique flyers and my choice as number one most unique flyer under $50. Thanks for watching.